The next step to tote for visin training is to add the actual blood that's gonna pull the dog out to the hide or the carcass. So I had Liesl crated in the truck and you can see that I have dropped a blood trail. Uh, my blood trail is only about 40 meters at this point. Again, start with something short and easily manageable for your dog that's already been blood tracking and knows what it's doing. So the big thing with this step is we're gonna introduce a new piece of equipment, and that is the blood tracking collar, which hopefully isn't new to your dog, but new to tote for bison training. Again, you should have already been doing blood tracking training with your dog. So the first thing that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna have to set down the phone for this, so we'll transition to another video, but I'm going to replace Liesl's normal everyday collar with her blood tracking collar. Then I'll snap the bringsel on, and then I will send her out to find this hide. Okay, so I've now put Liesl's blood tracking collar on, I've pocketed her other collar, and I've snapped her bringsel on. Now where you attach the bringsel is going to depend on your individual collar and bringsel unit. I don't like to usually put it on this toggle where we usually attach the blood tracking lead. Usually on my blood tracking collar, this buckle is the heaviest part, so it usually pulls down here. So I've experimented with putting the bringsel on the top of that belt buckle and on the bottom, and just with my setup, I found it works better to snap it on top. Uh, but again, kind of play with your setup and see what works best for your dog. All right, so now that she's ready to go, we'll blow her down into our normal starting position for any blood track. Okay, so you'll notice no lead on her. She shouldn't need it. Now I'm going to point at the blood and just give her a track command. That's the other big new thing with this step is instead of giving a fetch or search command, we're going to say track. Lisa, what is this? She sniffed it a few seconds and then grabbed her bringsel. Since she can see me, it's a little awkward, but again, use your physical stance. I'm leaning forward a little to draw her back to me to force the toggling. Good girl. But where is it? And then when I ask where it is, I'm standing up, giving an exaggerated hand gesture, and of course, giving that verbal cue that she can keep going. So don't stop a million times, but I'm gonna stop again and just have her toggle. Just three times here, I think will be perfect. Such a good girl. Good. But where is it? We don't want the dog to ever assume that you know where the game is till you're right on it. So that's why we force the toggling. Okay. And we want to keep them moving and not getting distracted by other stuff when we get to the woods. Good girl. There it is. And of course we want to be super excited when we find it. Praise them a ton. Such a good girl. I let my dogs prance a little bit. Just, I want them to think this is a super fun, exciting thing. Good job, but where? Good. And then once they're down by the hide or the carcass, that's when we can finally reward them. By allowing them to drop the bringsel. Drop. Good girl. And providing them with a food reward that they'll appreciate. Good girl. So again, once you get to this step, um, just keep increasing the difficulty as the dog is doing well. Uh, you can lay the blood track so it goes out of sight. So the dog really does have to toggle to get you back there. You can lay the blood track longer and longer. Again, on test day, it's gonna be 200 meters of fresh blood. This was aged about five or 10 minutes and I only did about 40 meters, but that's a good place to start. And then keep working from there towards the next step.